it's Arthur from TTMMinistry.com. Today I'm going to talk about be fruitful. We all maybe know the passage in Genesis chapter 1, verse 26 to 28. Then God said, Let us make man in our image, according to our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. 27. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female. He created them. 28. Then God blessed them and God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over every living thing that moves on the earth. Now, I always have been taught that the word be fruitful and multiply had to do with getting children, but that is not uh, correct. Interesting, when you check the Hebrew, to my shock, it doesn't really mean how we understand it. The meaning of fruitful is not in the sense of creating more kids, but the real meaning is really be prosperous. So what God is saying to us, every person, be prosperous, and multiply and take dominion. I found in the message the correct translation there where it kind of brings it out. I was just reading the message and suddenly it's like, wow. It says here, God spoke, let us make human beings in our image, make them reflecting on nature so they can be responsible for the fish in the sea, the birds in the air, the cattle, and yes, earth itself and every animal that moves on the face of the earth. God created human beings. He created them God-like, reflecting God's nature. He created them male and female. God blessed them. And he said to you, prosper. So that's the word fruitful. The real meaning is God tells every person when you're on earth you have to be prosperous. Pre reproduce get kids fill earth take charge be responsible fish in the sea and birds in the air for every living thing that moves on the face of the earth so god is saying every person really before you get married get prosperous and then get a family get kids but also take responsibility of the earth take care of it You see, when God created heaven and earth, the principle was for every human being, prosper, multiply, take dominion, be responsible for the earth. Now, multiply, we do very well. The prosperous part and the take dominion part, we are not doing a real good job as Christians. You see, part of God's commission to every person is to be prosperous. Your God given right get kids and teach them how to take dominion over God's kingdom. Let me just rephrase that to make myself clear. Being prosperous is not an option. God has commanded us, commissioned us to be prosperous, to multiply, and to take care of the earth. This was God's commission to every person on earth. It's not really optional, it's an obligation. Luke 19.13 says, so he called ten of his servants to live to them ten miners and said to them, do business till I come. One day, Jesus is going to come back and hold every personable accountable for what they did on earth. Are you prospering? Are multiplying? I don't think many people are struggling with that. But are you taking care of the earth? Are you living as good as possible and a good steward of the earth what God has given you? What are you doing with your life? Are you prosperous? Are you making, uh, being successful and making money so you can take care of your kids and your family and take care of the things of the earth? I hope this was helpful. For comments, questions, or suggestions, please contact me at info at ttmministry.com or www.teachingthenations.com. I would love to hear from you. Until next time, God bless.